Hello, here's a setup guide for those of you wanting to get your brand new Moza peripherals set up in ACC. Let's go. So firstly, you'll want to make sure that everything is plugged in. Your wheelbase, pedals, and of course, your wheel on your wheelbase. Once you've done that, make sure you've headed over to Moza's website and downloaded the Moza Pithouse software. And once installed, you'll see this page. Now, if this is your first time installing Pithouse, you'll get a confirmation prompt asking you to set everything up. It's just one click and verifies and activates your Moza peripherals. Then once you've done that, you'll want to make sure that Assetto Corsa Competizione is configured just by going over to Game Launcher, hovering over the game, and then you'll want to click the orange button saying configure if it's already installed. And just to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible, you want to head on over to the left-hand side of the Moza Pithouse software. Now, this may look slightly different depending on what version of Moza Pithouse you are. I'm using the beta version that they have in their Discord that you can join using the link down below. Just purely because of longevity reasons, this is likely what it'll look like in the future. So usually over here, you will see a couple of different profiles that you can use. Now, the one that I usually recommend are the ones that have the game name in them. So ACC, if you're playing ACC, F1 series, if you're playing, well, the F1 series, iRacing, etc. And depending on what wheelbase you have, you'll want to set this game force feedback intensity to 100%. This is just a general rule of thumb, as in software, you want to set your wheelbase to 100% 99.9% of the times, and then tone it down slightly in game. Right, speaking of in game, let's head on over there. Right, so I have ACC open right in front of me. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head into the options page, go to controls, and here you will see all of these settings that we can change. Steering is, well, your steering. You want to click on that and then you want to move your steering wheel. As you can see, mine is already set up. And you'll want to do the same for the rest of these. If you want to set up your throttle, you push, you press the throttle. If any of these are inverted, if, say, you're not pushing the throttle or pedals at all and it's at 100%, you click on this arrow and then you can click inverted. If there is say a little bit of flickering on either the top dead zone or the bottom dead zone, you can set the maximum and minimum limits just so you don't get random unintentional inputs. Then shift up and shift down. You press the prompt on screen and then you press in your paddle. Now this is where you're going to be doing a lot of the changes. Over here is the force feedback and advanced tabs. Now gain over here is how heavy the wheelbase will feel. Now, if you've set this at 100%, like I recommended earlier, you'll find this to be a little bit harsh if you set it all the way to 100%, especially on higher end wheelbases. Now, I'm not exactly going to recommend putting this above 50% on Moses R12 wheelbases and above, just so you can get a feeling of how heavy the wheelbase is, and then you can turn it up if it still feels a little bit too light. Minimum force just applies a constant effect, so if you want to have a heavier wheel from very minimum, you can set that to be higher. Damping just smoothens out all of the effects. So if you go over a curb, for example, you won't get a harsh spike in force feedback. Now, in a lot of cases, those top three are about the only ones that you change, especially on Moza wheelbases if you're on the correct profile. Now onto the advanced tab. Steering lock is pretty much the only one you'll want to change here as steering lock is how much you're gonna have to turn. Now I'd recommend putting this at 1080 degrees as that's just the regular amount applied in a lot of titles, especially in those profiles that I showed you earlier. And finally, if you want to set extra controls using the spare buttons on your wheel, you can do so here. You just click a button and then you press whatever you want to set. Then once you're done, you can create a profile, you can save it, and then it'll work in game. Now all that's left to do is just head into a session and drive about. Thank you very much for watching. If you need help setting up any other Moza peripherals, there are plenty of guides and tutorials right here on Moza's channel. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye bye.